What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction. We got that Mitchell and Webb look, Old Homes. Before we dive into this video, I'm so excited. Um, they're, they're so funny. But make sure if you enjoy, you don't forget to smash subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and let's see what we're working with. <laughs> Watson, come in here this instant. Ah, oh, good morning, Dr. Watson. Good morning. And how is he today? Oh, pretty good. He's already cracked the case of keeping the breakfast down, and now he's on to the mystery of the disappearing slipper. Where's my slipper? Is it on your foot? Yes. <laughs> Where's my slipper? Is it on your foot? Go on. Really, you know? to come in every day. Well, he has the most brilliantly incisive mind of his generation. Where's my slipper? <laughs> Perhaps you'll take him in an apple. <gasps> Indeed. Morning, Holmes. Ah, Mrs. Hudson, have you seen Watson? He's just here. Morning, Holmes. Ah, Watson, I can see from the slight traces of mud on your right trouser leg and the fact that you're holding a bunch of geraniums that you're a retired cavalry officer who's just fallen in love with a Mexican. Extraordinary, Holmes. Your powers remain undiminished. Can I have my mashed apple? Of course. Delicious. <laughs> he put it on it. You didn't. Okay. Uh, yeah, one of the, the greatest minds worn down to to putting an apple, throwing an apple across his knee and calling it delicious. Uh, how far the mighty have fallen. Ah, oh, Mrs. Hudson. Everything all right? Yes, just a slight accident with the mashed apple. Yuck! I think Holmes was afraid it was a trap laid for him by his nemesis, Professor Moriarty. Yes, please. <laughs> well, Holmes, I've, um, I've brought your copy of The Strand magazine. Same headline as always. Holmes, <laughs> still brilliant. So, um, how about uh, a bit of a tune on the old Stradivarius? Thank you. It's sad. It's sad to watch such a great mind diminish right in front of your eyes and deteriorate. It's sad. Ah, is yeah. He not still brilliant. Enchanting, Holmes. You can't go in there. Only one visitor at a time. It's vital that I speak to Mr. Holmes. Strad, it must be, what, ten years? Dr. Watson, Mr. Holmes. Ah, Mrs. Hudson. No time for tea, Mr. Holmes. There's a problem at the Treasury, and the Prime Minister himself has asked me to consult you. Now, I know it's been quite a while, but as Dr. Watson always says, you've forgotten more about detective work than he and I will ever know. <laughs> and, and he meant that literally. Literally, he's, he's forgotten it all. I, I think he... he eh, it's deteriorating. My leg's gone warm. <laughs> Perhaps this is a bad time. A case, you say? Uh... Go on, Inspector. Yes, right. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Holmes, uh, some bullion has disappeared from the vaults beneath the Bank of England. Uh, uh, an inside job, we reckon. This calls for disguise. Oh, my days. I'm a Chinaman! Go <laughs> away! <laughs> Where's Holmes gone? Uh, yes, where is Mr. Holmes? Here! Shh! Oh, damn. <laughs> Bravo, Mr. Holmes. I think you've cracked it. Have I? Of course you did. Just like always. Yes, indeed, Mr. Holmes. Uh, well, 
I'd better be getting back to the yard and tell everyone that once again Sherlock Holmes has saved the day. Hooray! Oh my God. Well, well, Holmes, another successful case for me to write up. Isn't that right? I know, John. I, I, I do know. I can't get the fog to clear. Hey. Nurse! Oh dear, looks like a two-pipe problem. Let's get you cleaned up. She ended that one on a sad note. That broke my heart at the end. I do know. I just can't get the fog to clear. That's heartbreaking, bro. For anybody who suffered from dementia, Alzheimer's, um, anything to the where effect of your mind starts to deteriorate. That's all we got. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up and check out the next one. I'll see y'all next time.